packaging that says BPA-free might as well say BPA-free from regulations because scientists at McGill University have been studying printed stickers on packaged food and found that some of the chemicals that have replaced bisphenol A can actually disrupt ovarian cell function and they warn that BPA-free does not necessarily mean safe. For those of you that are unfamiliar with BPA, it was a common additive in a great number of plastics like the ones pictured here in this image. Our foods are wrapped in it and they can shed off and end up in our endocrine system. What we do know about BPA is that it can interfere with the body's hormones, it's been linked to fertility problems, early development issues, and just general body-wide metabolism. That's why there's been a push for BPA-free packaging for a very long time. Unfortunately, what we are replacing the BPA with to make the plastic that wraps our food could also be rather toxic. So what the scientists discovered is they tested this on lab-grown human ovarian cells and exposed them to four commonly used BPA substitutes, which are TGSA, D8, and PF201, and BPS. And several of these chemicals, especially the TGSA and D8, caused a buildup of fat droplets in the cells and changed the activity of genes, as in it altered gene function in the cells, and the, specifically, it was the genes that help grow and repair DNA. And you know what happens when DNA goes wrong? You guessed it, cancer. Uh, as they say, these are major cellular functions, and they wouldn't go so far as to say it's definitely going to hurt you. They say disrupting these functions doesn't prove harm in humans, but it gives a strong signal that these chemicals should be investigated, and I completely agree. The article goes on to state that there are more than 200 different replacements for BPA, very few of which have been tested for like toxicity in humans, very few of which are regulated, very few of which have been studied like at all. So BPA-free, unfortunately, does not mean good.